All right, podheads, we are back once again. Today I'm going to show you how to wire up a dual six, dual three, or dual wolf or dual tweeter setup, right? It's not that hard to do. Uh, what we're starting with, just for simplicity, make the video go a little bit faster. I've already stripped and pre crimped all these wires. So what we got are DS18, just because that's what I got laying around the shop here. Uh, some Pro X six and a halves and some TWX ones. All right. <clears throat> so there's an easy way to do it and a hard way to do it. The easy way to do it is with a direct, uh, dedicated passive crossover. Okay. The hard way to do it is to use the capacitor that is included typically with tweeters like this. So these tweeters typically have the uh, passive crossover capacitor soldered on. I've already taken the liberty of removing those for this video. Right? So let's begin. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to wire these in parallel and these in parallel all going into the passive crossover. First thing we will do is assume that this is already in our door panel. Uh, and we're going to install our plug, which is then going to plug into the source unit or the amplifier, whatever, in the car. We're going to hook that up to the woofer input. So it's basically very simple, positive to positive, negative to negative. Positive in this scenario is going to be our blue wire. So I'm just going to connect that there. All right, so now we have the input coming from our amplifier head unit, whatever you have you. And now we're going to go to our woofers. So then we'll be connecting positive and negative to the woofer outputs, positive and negative. Now we're going to be running these in parallel. So what that means is that we're going to tie the blue or the positive wires together and the black or negative wires together. You can either twist them together or put them in the same terminal, however you would like to do it. So, positive to positive. And then negative and negative. There, so nice tight connections. So take a look there. We have both positives and both the negatives going into the woofer output. Now what we will do is we'll do the same thing for the tweeter. Positive to positive, negative to negative. So what's cool about this crossover is that it has not only a uh, common output for the tweeter negative, but there are also three different places you can put the positive wire. So it's got a zero dB, a zero minus three and minus six. What that does is it makes a tweeter a little bit quieter, if you so desire. So, but same basic thing. Tweeter, put the negative in the negative. And then just for this example, we're going to go into the zero dB, but you can adjust that later if you would choose. Positive to positive. Just like that. Okay, so now we have our wires. All we would need to do is then hook them up to the tweeters. So positive to positive and negative to negative. Okay, tweeter number two, positive to positive, negative to negative. Like so, and then the woofer, positive to positive and negative to negative. Positive to positive. Negative to negative. Positive to positive, negative to negative. And there you have it. Let's see if we can lay this out and make it easier to see. Just like Cool. 
So that's it. Uh, basically, all we got here. Get a little closer in frame here. That's it. Dual six, dual tweeter, wired in parallel through a passive crossover. Plug this into your door and jam. Cool. Appreciate it. Peace. All right, fine. I said there was an easy way and a hard way to do it. We'll go over the hard way. Doing it the hard way. Doing it the hard way includes using the included capacitor. Now, could we leave it attached to the tweeter as it came from the factory and then hook a wire up to it? Sure, but that's the lazy way to do it. And then plus it could vibrate and then the tweeter comes loose. And also the tweeter can, the lead can short on the magnet and it just, no. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you my little trick. There's probably a million other ways to do it. This is the way I do it, is we're going to attach this capacitor in the wire itself. This is how we do it. So what we'll do is find our spot where we want the capacitor to live. And then, you know, either the black or the blue, positive or negative, it doesn't matter. But what we're going to do, snip one side of it and split it back like so. And then we'll strip one side of it. Twist it. And then for the capacitor, what we'll do is we'll snip some of that extra lead off because we don't need it all. Then, using our soldering gun or a similar device that has enough heat to melt solder to this thicker wire and some sort of resin core or flux core solder, <clears throat> go ahead and tin the end of the wire. bit on the capacitor and then we'll join the two together like so all right then lay the capacitor down on the wire figure where we want that joint to be Snip the wire, and then we'll strip the wire. And then we will snip the lead on the capacitor right there. That same thing. So we'll go ahead and tin the end of the wire. and then magically join the two together. And then magically join the two together. All right. And once you have nice, solid, secure joints, take some electrical tape and we'll go ahead and wrap the whole sucker up. Nice, secure, mounted capacitor. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but 
Yeah. Okay, now that we have our wires with our capacitor made up, we have two wires, one for one set, two wires for the tweeter, and then two wires for the woofer. Same thing to connect the speakers to the uh, connect the speakers with the wire. We would need to install the uh, crimp connectors, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to skip all of that. Now we're just going to go directly to how we're going to hook it up to the door. So again, we have our plug, and what we're going to use to hook everything together are some five position Wago lever nuts. These things are great and make installation like this a lot easier. Why a five position and why two of them? Because we have one for all of our positives and one for all of our negatives. So what we will do is get one for our positive, one for our negative. And then from there, all you gotta do Put all the black wires in one and all the blue wires in the other. All right? Blue to blue. Blue to blue. Blue to blue. And then black to black. Black to black. It doesn't matter which way, which direction, which order you put them in. If you want to pretty it up and put them all in a nice, happy little order, you can do that. Just make sure that they're all in there and tight and happy. And that is it, right? So now we have our wire harness. We have our two wires with our capacitors going to our tweeters to protect them from uh, damage. And then two wires going to our woofers and then plug it into our source unit. Just that easy. Right. Okay, cool. Appreciate it. Uh, if you like it, cool. If not, got it. I get it. Um, but yeah, boring stuff, but that's the way it rolls. All right. Thanks a lot. Peace.